Take four. Right, I thought it'd be uh, interesting to actually show you how a gearbox works. These things are surrounded with mystery, usually, so uh, I thought it'd be a good idea just to uh, just take you through it. <coughs> Cut that bit. So, it all starts at your crankshaft, which runs across the top. Which runs onto this, in turn, onto the input shaft. Now, this might look like one shaft, but it's not. It's in fact two shafts. The main shaft, first motion shaft. Right, so what happens? Power comes in, spins this. Note that spins completely separately to this. That shaft then spins the lay shaft, which in turn spins always these three gears. You have first, which is straight cut anyway, second, third, there is no fourth. Fourth is when the lay shaft, sorry, fourth is when the input shaft is locked to the main shaft, thus. These two things are your synchro hubs. These are what lock the gears to the main shaft. This is the output pinion, which in turn spins the diff. So, let's say we want first gear. So, drive in, turns this, turns this, first gear we want, this is first gear. So we need to lock first gear to the main shaft. To do this, well, the select, there's two selectors in the gearbox which push these across. <coughs> This piece is a synchro hub. This locks, is, is permanently attached to the main shaft. Therefore, what we've done here is locked first gear to the synchro hub. The synchro hub is then, of course, already locked to the main shaft. That's, that's us in first. So this spins <coughs> and in turn spins that, which spins that, which spins you. You, you get that. Right, we want second here now. Second is this one, note, these teeth. And in between here we've got the ball ring, which is what makes your synchro work. These are pushed against and spin this up to the same speed as the shaft. So we want second. In we go, that's second. Now this gear is locked to the main shaft. Okay, we want third. Third is this gear. However it goes. That's us in third. This gear is now locked to the main shaft. Okay, we want fourth. Fourth is direct drive. So we need to lock the input shaft to this synchro ring. And we're locked, simple as. That's how it works. Reverse um, is a bit more complicated. It goes via a, a cog with two parts on it, basically, that locks. Damn it. First, to the synchro ring. That's what this is for, that's reverse. So the, the, the intermediate reverse goes sort of here, if you like. I hope that makes some sense. It, yeah. <laughs> right. Let's build a gearbox.